Hi, the following crystals and crystal forms will support you through the season of autumn or fall and the autumn equinox. And these magical stones will help you connect with the energy of the season so that you can work with the current cycles of nature. Hi, I'm Ethan Lazzarini and I am the author of three crystal healing books, including the Amazon bestseller, Crystal Grids Power. Let's get straight into these nine crystals for autumn. Afterwards, I will share tips on working with these crystals and practical tips on tapping into the energy of the season. Labradorite is a stone that shifts and changes in the light, making it ideal for this fleeting and transitional time of the year. Its patterns look a bit like leaves to me, and also butterfly wings, which are also another symbol of transformation. And this crystal guides us through life transitions and through personal transformation. So Labradorite is also linked to our psychic senses, especially to things like clairvoyance and, you know, connecting with the spiritual world. Citrine is a golden yellow or golden brown crystal that resembles autumn leaves and the golden sylmite at this time of year. It is a solar stone which is all about abundance and blessings. So citrine is an excellent crystal for focusing on gratitude and for trusting that we are going to be provided for by the universe. So petrified wood is the remains of ancient trees which have been fossilized and mineralized over millions of years, turning them into a crystal. Trees in general are a big part of seasonal changes at this time of year, and this is a good stone for you to connect with your family tree, your ancestors, both recent and ancient ancestry, and petrified wood will, will also assist you in researching your family tree and your genetic background. Moonstone comes in a variety of different colours, but it is most commonly creamy off-white with a pearlescent sheen and you can use other forms of moonstone as well and the moon starts to become more noticeable at this time of year and it rules our inner world so this crystal helps link us to our intuitive and psychic nature and moonstone is also traditionally used for new beginnings and navigating new phases in our lives it wouldn't really be a guide to crystals for autumn without a crystal skull, so if you have one of these sitting in a drawer somewhere, now is a good time to put it on display. Crystal skulls are a bold and symbolic representation of dying and things falling away. So a skull is a symbol of personal transformation. It can represent our connection to our ancestors and the survival of the soul after death. If you're enjoying this video so far then can you please give it a thumbs up and this will help the video reach more people so they can benefit too and subscribe if you're not already. Smoky quartz ranges from brown, smoky grey to black in colour and this represents the darker seasons of the year and when we start to move inwards and the increasingly longer nights. So this crystal can help cleanse negative energy from external sources or from your own creation. And I recommend you work with smoky quartz to become aware of any negative patterns of thought so that you can release them. This is also known as shamanic dream quartz, lodolite or lodolite quartz. And the British royal magician and astrologer John Dee is rumoured to have had a crystal ball made of this stone. Um, and the inclusions vary, but they do often have autumnal tones to them. And shamanic dreamstone can be used to go on shamanic journeys, to do astral travelling, and to do any form of visual meditation. And it is also a stone that connects us with the inner worlds and spiritual dreams. Black obsidian is a naturally formed volcanic glass and historically it has been used for scrying and connecting with the spirit world 
um, this jet black stone is ideal for connecting with the unseen world and doing shadow work and it's useful for psychic protection and black obsidian is one of the best stones for releasing toxic or negative connections to people uh, situations and energy that no longer serves you this metallic crystal seems to represent the golden colors of nature and sunlight at this time of the year so you can work with pyrite to honestly review your finances and your business it taps you into a prosperity mindset and encourages us to take action and to use strategy to increase our income so look at what's working for you and increase this this golden stone is an ally for success it's always really hard to choose a group of crystals for a YouTube video or blog post when so many others could have also been here and included. So other noteworthy crystals I want to bring up are Carnelian, Bronzite, Garnet, and Hematoid Quartz. So there are different ways you can work with these crystals for the autumn season. You can wear them, you can carry them on you, you can display them in your home to synchronize yourself with the season, decorate your altar or any sacred space, or why not make a seasonal crystal grid with these crystals? The equinox can be seen as one of the four energetic portals of the year. The autumn equinox marks the end of summer and a transition towards the winter season, and it occurs when the day and night are almost equal in length. And this is also the time of year that you might find that your neighbour is complaining because the leaves from your trees are going into their barren garden. Common themes of the season are the last harvest, slowing down, and letting go. Also gratitude, ancestors, transition, and the spiritual world. Here are some practical and holistic tips to help you get more in sync with the flow of energy of the season. And you could do many of these things while wearing or holding your autumn crystal. Review and acknowledge any successes and achievements you've had since spring. You could research your family tree or ancestry. Think about what you need to let go of as we move forward into the season. You could take a walk by trees or visit a forest or the woods and it's a good time to cleanse yourself or your home with some type of incense or burning some type of wood such as sandalwood. You could do some type of psychic development work. It's a good time to have a clear out, give things to charity or sell them and also it's a time for you to remember and connect with any departed loved ones. And lastly, you could do an oracle or tarot card reading. And I want to know which of these crystals you think you'll be working with and who else is an autumn child like me? Please leave a comment below and check out one of the videos appearing on screen now, which I think you'll enjoy too.